On the markets this morning, three minutes to go to the opening bell. Not that much price action so far. Dow's up about 70 points. Ryan Payne with me this morning. Ryan, I want to talk NVIDIA. They report after the bell Wednesday. What are you expecting? Uh, I think they'll keep blowing uh, the doors off their earnings expectations. I mean, it should double the revenue, double the earnings over the year, which is just insane, right, just given how much revenue they're generating, $27.8 billion. Uh, most analysts have been a little bit below on their estimates, so I could see them beating again. And then there's some anticipation around that Blackwell chip yeah. that'll come out next year. So I think all the momentum is behind them right there's now. There's some suggestion that the Blackwell chip has had problems. Have those problems been resolved? And if they're not resolved satisfactorily, the stock doesn't do well. Well, the stock trades at 47 times forward earnings, so it is standing on stilts. <laughs> yeah. But I do think right now there's still a lot of money that's getting this market, and it does blindly buy what's been the hottest. So I think there is a case to say that it'll go higher, yet that's not where I'd be putting my money. It w you would not? No. No, because if you look at the Magnificent Seven in general, um, it's getting less magnificent, put it that way, uh, because they're starting to decelerate on their earnings. You know, they're going to have 34, 35% uh, growth this quarter in earnings. That's down from 55% first quarter. They're going to be down to 17 by the end of the year. However, the other 493 companies in the S&P 500, you're starting to see their earnings accelerate and they trade a lot cheaper. So the point is you can buy growth a lot cheaper right now than buying those big mega cap tech stocks. How do I buy growth? I mean, that's an easy expression to use. How do I? How do I go out today and say, I want to buy growth? Well, I think the, well, first off, you're blindly buying the S&P 500. You're basically buying NVIDIA, Microsoft, Apple. They drive all the return in that index. Right. I was, it's a mega cap tech stock and drag. Um, so the real way to do it is just get out of tech and buy everything else. If you look at the last month, utility stocks are up uh, over 6%. Real estate stocks, anything that's interest rate sensitive right now is going to do really well because the Fed is kind of a foregone conclusion. They're going to cut interest rates. And the thing I keep talking about, Stuart, is more money keeps plowing into money market funds right now. You're up to $6.25 trillion in money market funds. It's a huge number because you're getting 5%. You have to wait all year to get that 5%, by the way, because it takes all year to earn it. Uh, but meanwhile, if the Fed cuts, that's going away. And where is that cash going to go? And that's been my argument all along. That's why I think this melt-up we're on the precipice of is going to is going to happen at some point because so much money has to go somewhere. We've seen some of them melt up already, though, haven't we? We're almost at highs for across the board. But the crazy thing is, there's still so many investors that miss this move. I say they're between a rock and a hard place, the Rolling Stones uh, yeah. song, yeah. Um, because they feel like, do I get in the market now at these high levels? I say yes, but avoid the magnificent seven, diversify the daylights out of your portfolio.